That's right, about half post. And we are <laughs> live! Hello Hi. and welcome Hi. everybody Hi. to Hi. part two of our Gosh. pre-recorded session. Feels like a whole Hi. week has gone past. Guys, you're all wearing exactly the same thing as last week. I don't what judge a, me. Crazy. Uh, what a crazy, crazy coincidence. I haven't showered since last time. <laughs> <laughs> I've never wanted you more. Uh, okay. Uh, and we that's are picking up exactly new, where we left the new eau de toilette. <laughs> no, um, it's just not that big shell. I'm going to do the recap this time, just for the sake of speed. Normally I have my players do it, because it's always nice to go from a GM's perspective. Huh, what do my players remember? What did they pick out? What's important to them? But we've all just done it, and so I'm going to go. Um, what happened last week was uh, Freya was kidnapped by orcs, mm. uh, broke herself free, also freeing a lady named Nina Castle, who was from Corrath, mm. and did some kick-ass swashbucklery to steal an orc boat, and has made her way some way up the river. We'll see how that goes in a second. But the rest of the party um, met Tutapek and his band of exiles, uh, who were living Robin Hood style in the woods, and started to train Lord Tyndall in the ways of getting hit with swords, and then made their way to the vineyards of a nearby elf commune where they encountered as sun was setting that the vineyards were infested with disgusting blights of vines and tweedle uh, and uh, twigs and needles tweedles uh, tweedle the tweedle blight and they managed to clear them all up especially helped by neve the druid sprinkling the large vine blight with fairy dust which instantly purged the dark Icarus substance yeah. within it and they have to the best of their knowledge cleared out the vineyards and we are going to see what happens to them in just a second but for now Lady Freya uh, Captain Lucille. Captain, <laughs> Captain Lucille. Lucille. Are you insisting that Mina calls you Captain Lucille? That's what she knows me as. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, yes, obviously. Yeah. I'm the captain now because I'm, I'm, I'm so, so, I've stolen okay. this, it's now mine. <laughs> yep, Mina is happy to call you Captain Lucille. Oh, good. Um, good and so she does. It takes you. I didn't say. It takes you a while to go, oh, that's me. Yeah, that's me. Uh, every time she calls you Lucille, you're, you're getting more into it. You're going, yeah, I could, I could go for this uh, Captain Lucille nonsense. Mm -hmm. uh, roll me a investigation check, please. Mm -hmm. That's a 20. Mm -hmm. oh, wait, it's a 20. Oh, it's a 20. Oh. Yeah. Um, you have cool. managed to find a pirate hat on the ship. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that is a natural 20 well spent. Uh, you have acquired a masterwork a pirate, pirate hat. hat. <laughs> it is a pirate hat. Please add it to your inventory. Yeah. Add it to your disguise kit. Add it to your disguise kit. Add it to your... It's not my disguise anymore. It's my new identity. <laughs> yeah. Freya, I've never heard of her. I have always been Captain Lucille. <laughs> A uh, good ship, what's the ship called? Floaty <laughs> McFloatface. Floaty <laughs> McFloatface. Uh, Sank on his first page. Um, this <laughs> yeah. ship is... that has suspiciously short ropes now good for nothing. <laughs> okay. don't need them. Okay, uh, Mina, um, for the first little bit, is really struggling to get this ship to do anything because she has no idea how to pilot a boat. And then she really gets the hang of it. Uh, she manages, she goes, yeah, I see. It's probably a bit like that then. All right. Um, can you come in? And she gives you a couple of instructions to come and uh, do ship things that you have no idea about, to pull on some ropes and- Shorten the mizzen line. Yep. Um, and, well, the Lady Mina doesn't exactly know what they're called either. So she's saying, uh, grab that uh, say thing and pull it around this way. No, no, this way, this way. The other. When I'm pointing, I mean this way. Uh, and so between the pair of you, you just about managed to get a handle on this boat. Anyone else getting a Thelma and Louise vibe? <laughs> um, she... So it goes off to her own D&D &D game with Blackjack. <laughs> <laughs> Sails off into this. Mina, is. <laughs> Mina opens her uh, bag. She's got a big brown bag. Mm. And she opens it and reaches inside and she pulls out a set of clothes, which are fine browser clothing, not like crazy rich posh stuff, but decently made, and she unfurls them and uh, changes into them. And she looks, she's dressed now much better than she was in the rags that you encountered her in. She looks kind of like Indiana Jones, you know, she's dressed in 
travelling gear. Uh, she's... Clara Loft, anybody? Uh, uh, Mina, Mina Castle, she says it again. Yeah. <laughs> With very short shorts. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, she's, she's kind of like a female Indiana Jones. And she thanks you profusely and says, uh, where, are, where are you headed, Captain um, Lucille? West to some hills? <laughs> West to some hills. Indeed. Right. She uh, draws a quick map. We're <laughs> <laughs> already right here by the Sorry Sister. <laughs> ah, yes, the Sorry Sisters. They, uh, <laughs> West to some. Well, we, are we heading up north the river or down south? Uh, north. Yes. North. Okay, um, you make your way north and up the river. Uh, Romy D12. Oh, which one? Which one? Up this direction. Uh, the weird one. Like, yeah. Up this direction. Yes. Three. A three. Your journey up north is relatively uneventful. Um, there are a couple of other. You see, uh, there are a couple of dock ships. Um, at various places in the river, but you uh, you continue up. There's no no reason to yeah. stop and talk to these people because you have no idea who they are or what they want. And w- as you continue your way up, I mean, it's, it's pretty hard work maintaining this. There's an old man with two rag dolls. He looks a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> you 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 continue making your way up, and Nina is asking you. So wh- wh- where do you come from, Lucille? Uh, it cast. Yes, I come from the farmlands. The farmland? Well, you, <laughs> yes. you are you are Galatean by your accent. Indeed. Yes, uh, from Merrick. I see. So well, you must know these lands fairly well, I suppose. Ah, uh, I didn't go out very far, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, it's, uh, the life of an explorer is not for everyone, she says. Uh, she looks much more comfortable now. She's got all her things, and she's pulling. She's taken out of the uh, pack when when you're on a. Uh, straight, she says. Um, have a would you would you like some some lunch? Yes, I would. Definitely, she, hopefully not soon. Uh, she reaches into a pack and she pulls out a spell book, uh, and you can tell it's a spell book because it's got high brows of runes all over it. It's got glyphs and you know, everything. It's got is spells in it written on the. Front. And she says, yeah. um, <laughs> "Will you maintain the the ship for an hour or so?" Of course. So you oh, do your best. Roll me a uh, wow. Yeah. Okay. No idea. Animal handling. No, it's not, it's not animal handling. It's actually a way to learn disguise. Uh, acrobatics. <laughs> Roll me a dice and see what you get. Acrobatics. Uh, no, if, yeah, it would just be whether she's proficient. Seventeen. Or yeah, it would just be a dice roll. Oh uh, yeah. You, okay. So you are you are non-proficient in this, but you get a seventeen, which is fine. So you you manage to keep the ship moving, yeah. and you. Uh, while she sits and reads her spell book and memorises some spells, because that's the thing that wizards need to do. So she does this, and then you hear her chanting in high browser, and there's a... Can I tell <laughs> what she's saying? Uh, yes, you can. You speak high browser. Um, she is... Okay, so she is uh, encounting runes, and these are words of power. Okay. And so she's saying... Uh, I haven't really prepared for this, but she's saying something along the lines of um, she's uh, encountering the old words for uh, food, for sustenance, for nourishment, things like that. Can I have a meal deal, please? Yeah. <laughs> but no, without fish, because I'm on a diet. Uh, and there's a a soft glowing, and the words that she speaks sort of, uh, you can see every word that she says, the room for it corresponding glows in the air as she speaks the words of this spell the runes glow gently in the air and she's weaving them and she says the final word and the runes descend into a uh, a reasonable meal um you have uh it is warm and it's uh you, she's made a series of uh, pasties and yeah like uh, there's like a, a platter of cornish pasties and a little bottle of wine and some cheese awesome. yeah and she sits back looking quite pleased with herself and says it is the absolute least i can do 
It looks awesome. Thank you. Uh, let's let's dig in. So you eat, and she. Um, mm. Yeah, I, I, uh, I, I've not been very far, uh, very far west. I haven't been to spend much time in Galatea. Mm. I hail from Corinth, obviously, and uh, I, I've headed north. I was finally mm. given uh, an expedition of my own. Mm. What are mm. you seeking? I am seeking, she says, and she reaches into a book and she flicks through some pages. This. And she shows you it is a picture of a helmet and it has uh, a strange kind of like a crown embedded on it um, in the design of the helmet. It's a, it's a hand-drawn sketch and she says this is a magical helmet and I am going to find it, I am going to bring it back to Corrath and they are going to make me a magister. What are you going to do with your life? Going to get tenure, Lucille. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Good luck with that. Thank you. Uh, I am attempting to find my party, but we were separated a few nights back. Mm -hmm. um, and they are north and west, in some hills. Mostly west. This <laughs> is yes. Uh, yes, we're going somewhere in some hills for some reason. <laughs> Do you know where and Don't know whether you're just fluffing because you don't want her to know that what you're doing, or whether you genuinely don't know because you genuinely weren't paying attention. <laughs> Do, you, um, Do you know where and why your party are headed? Uh, yes. Uh, for now, we are seeking to um, purify some wells. Some wells? Yes. Uh, she's going to roll. Oh, I can't check. She gets 14 plus her skill. That's not bad. Um, oh, I see. Yes, I've heard about the well sources. This is an old Estalian tradition. It's a tradition, but... As also... the land prospers, so too do its people, and, and so on and so forth. It's very quaint. <laughs> they are actually poisoned, though, at the moment, so we do need to do it. Oh, I see. Mm. And you've been uh, sent by your lord. Yes. It's Thane uh, Wolfric of Galatea, isn't it? Yes, I've never met him though. <laughs> <laughs> he's not my father! No, he's, he's not, he's not. Oh no. no, no. The, the, oh, of Galatea. Galatea. No, no, it's the Thane of Galatea. Yeah. Thane of Galatea. Yeah. yeah, she probably doesn't know the names of all the barons. Like, and you probably have. Well, maybe, yeah, you probably can't remember. Maybe right. she does, yeah. Oh, no, Freya, Freya, Freya does. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. But, oh no. god, no, don't introduce him to Freya. Yeah. But it's academic, yeah. probably. Don't introduce him to Freya. No, <laughs> put her up in the tower. <laughs> okay, so, um, I see. Uh, well, uh, then perhaps we can journey together. I will see if I can help you find your, your friends, and perhaps you can help me see if I can find this artifact. That sounds like a good idea. Then it is an accord. Yeah, welcome to the group. <laughs> yes, welcome. Welcome to my party. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, is we're still this my group. We're, we're, starting to, we're, we're, start, we're starting to collect the NPCs now. This is starting to become a problem. And you make your way up. Right there. Oh. And... We'll, names, not we'll get to where you end up in just a second. For now, you guys are in the vineyards. Night is falling. I am bundling onto Lord Tyndall uh, with a lay on hands on my lips. And yeah, the people's elbow are peeling! <laughs> um, <gasps> how, many, how many hit voices do you have, Max? Can you smell what the rock is healing? Um, how, six. He's, uh, yes, six. Uh, all of them. Great, he is fully healed. <gasps> Uh, he is not dying, and he is fully healed. And York then, sort of after sort of diving with a, there's a glow. So it's not sort of instinctive prayer on his lips at this stage. Kind of rolls off on his back. You know. <laughs> Any more I've got left of the guys? Ah, oh. uh, looking only very slightly better. Uh, ow! <coughs> Lord Tibble sits up. Is it always like that? Getting stabbed in the shoulder? Uh, depends what they stab you with. How's he dealing with this? You go, little Tindall. Um, <laughs> just fine. Just, just fine. Totally goes, fine. Oh, I need to improve. Should have yes. seen that coming. Oh. I'll get there. I'll get there. Could have been worse. I didn't die. Yes. Um, who needs the most healing? 
Yes, please. Right, amazing. Let me oh, uh, God, yes, let me please. do healing word for you. Your cure wounds. Uh, cure wounds. Oh, that's cure the one wounds. even. Uh, yes. Uh, that's healing word is better at range. Healing word is better in battle, and, I think. Yes, because it's um, it depends whether you're stood next to somebody. Oh, and it's right. Advantage. So that's you get one d eight plus my spellcasting modifier, it's which three. is uh, plus three. Uh, so you get one d eight plus three. Um, roll me the eight. Uh, oh, do I have to roll it? Yeah, it's your, it's your spell. I see. You, uh, like ten you hit get back. ten hit points back. I love me some ten hit points. Oh. Amazing. More uh, than doubling my current hit point value. It's pretty, pretty strong. Oh. Ooh, that tingles a little differently. <laughs> uh, what are you going to do? Uh, we've got to go and um, see need... the village. We need to yes. find yes, out yes, what's yes. happened here. Okay. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Do you think we should burn the field? What? They are, they are only going to sleep. I am loath to... Out, let's get out of these vines and go and see what's become of the villagers. Okay. Uh, we can always burn the fields later. Uh, okay. let's, let's not burn fields without permission. These fields are rotten and ruined. Up, I'm gonna uh, up gather up a piece. small amount and start a small sort of almost campfire. No, 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 no. We're, uh, we're, we're going out here and into the village. We're not, we're not staying in this area. We you, you create and... a small campfire. No, no, no we're stay. not. Not campfire is in to stay. Is in campfire is in to burn the field. Okay, yeah. That's um, so we've so got just a fire source, so that it's not just me setting fire to things if we need to in a hurry. That's right. Um, Where do you set this? Um, so the, on the on the this side, so not on the yeah, that's fine. No, no, we are going on to go on the, through the field and out, everybody's out of the field before that happens. Right, you get you get out of the vineyard. Uh, you walk past. You see things are withering and rotting on these vines, and the stench is really bad. Um, Lord Tindall is covering his mouth as he makes his way through, and as you leave, you uh, sweep up uh, some some of the. Uh, Old rotten wood. You know, the, there was the the big thing that used to be an elf. Is there mm. a corpse of an elf lying in these fields? Uh, you said it got purged of the. Is it was it actually an elf or was it? It was once an elf. Then um, I think we should take the body back to the village. Uh, yes, yeah, so you look and you can see this elf has. I mean, it's been mangled. This corpse has been. It's like if you left the corpse and things grew through it. The things that were growing through it have all died, but they're still there, sticking out of this elf. Hands up, you've seen a lot of death in the same place before. Okay then. Uh, you might want to mentally brace yourselves in case this is messy. It's okay. Um, if, so yes, we'll if head on. Wanna, if you want to stop, the, say the body from being done, feel free to pull it free. But we need to focus on the village and make sure we're secure first. Okay. And, Feel strongly. I'm, I'm, I'm going to carry this body Great. to the village. You you pull the body. It is. I mean, it's now it's now just a corpse yeah. with vines growing out of it. Okay. All right. So we head on into the village. What do we see? You make your way through the low farmlands and you see a whole bunch of empty houses, and it is silent here. There's no birds. There's no cats or dogs, no pets, no animals, no livestock. And you see throughout the village, there are a few. Now that you know what you're looking for and you recognize them, there are a few trees that are gnarled and twisted in places. And every now and again, you just see them move a little bit. Is there any reason I shouldn't be cutting these out of the air? I assume that as we move past them, what we're... You're, this is as you're approaching oh, the as we're approaching. You can see okay. there are a whole bunch of empty houses. The doors, uh, a lot of them are left open. Mm -hmm. And as you get closer, you can see these trees are grown out of what were once elves. Are they mobile? Um, they don't look like they've noticed you yet. Mobile but slow. Uh, they are mobile, they are slow, and they cannot sense you unless you're really close. I would recommend... I would recommend we go around. Yeah. It is. I do not think... There Dark is, and late. I do not think there is anything we can do to save this place. I think it is already... Going in here at the moment is quite some trouble. Mm -hmm. I think we should camp up in the tree line 
and if we particularly need to, we can go in fully rested and see what we can find. But at the moment, the best thing we can do for this area is to cleanse that well source. Yeah. Okay. All right. Are you? Is there anywhere around this village that appears to be a grave site? You'd have to go and search through the village. But, uh, but does it, is, is there, if we're if we're coming down onto the village from the top of the hill, or something like that? He didn't notice anywhere else. Okay. Um, I can help him with a shovel, and we can put the body in the ground. If that's the thing he wants. Doesn't to do. need to be here. Okay. Are you planning on carrying them with us? Unless you're prepared to help. Well, yes, because you're a 90 pound, <laughs> 16 year old girl. Um, yeah. Um, Yorg, will, Yorg will shoulder this particular boat. Um, and we will go and find the tree line. Cool. Um, How are you holding up, Tindall? I've never seen an elf. <laughs> I was looking forward to it. Hopefully, <laughs> <laughs> we will meet one or two. Uh, you make your way around the village. It is proper dark now. Um, what is your light source? Mm, well, you can see in the dark. Yep. Right, but the rest of you can't. Um, Tindall certainly can't. We're going to have spark a torch. Oh uh, yeah, through craft. There you go. There's a flickering light as you make your way around the edge of the field. You follow the wooden fences, mm-hmm. and you it's stay like, on. We're probably going to have light at least two, one front, one back. I'm going to be leading. With okay. One. Uh, so you've got a body hot. slung over your shoulder and the yeah. torch out, uh, and whoever's. Basically. I'll pull a bit of wood from the fence. Yeah. Well, no, I've got torches. That's fine. Oh, maybe. That's fine. You, you, you're, you've got some uh, smoky light mm-hmm. emanating around you guys. And I kind of want to get up on the hill the other side of the village. That's yeah. fine. You make your way round. Someone roll me a d12. Yes, it's my fault. It counts. No. Oh, you're okay. 11 or 12 is the bad one. Um, 11, well, 11 is 11 problem. Is problem. 12, 12 is, is really fun. bad. Right. Uh, you make your way around the outskirts of the village uh, and nothing bothers you. You can see, now that you know what you're looking for, you th- this whole place is full of blight. Um, some of them grew from the trees, some of them came off the vines, and some of them grew up through the elves. And this is, this is a dead place now. So you make your way up onto a hill on the other side. Uh, you're pretty sure they're not going to come for you up the hill. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's let's build a decent fire because it's good for people feeling better about things. Mm-hmm. Um, well, Tindall, we continue our education. We're about to learn how to sleep rough. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, you build a fire. You have absolutely got the means to do this. You build a fire and you make down the bed for the night, burying this. Body before I get to bed. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you have any particular rights or anything you want? I'm not leaving it unpoliced for the, for the whole evening. That's just about it. No, we'll be better now. Okay. Uh, I'll pull a shovel. Someone. Uh, okay, so you pull a shovel and bury the body. Can you all make me charisma saving throws, please? Charisma, charisma? saving throws. Mm. I'm incredibly charming Ooh. as well to enter the camp and destroy you all. 16. Yep. Nat one. Would you oh. get that one? Great. Right. Oh, fifteen. Fifteen. This uh, is uh, not two matters. Probably, uh, but that's all that one. one. Uh, nine. Uh, nine. He's definitely got some charisma. Uh, he has to have at least one. Yes, he does. So, Lord Tyndall and uh, Iris are both struggling with this. With this dead body and all of it. This is this is a deeply depressing place to be. And it is just, yeah, there's a gloomy mood. You you two are dealing okay with this. Death is a natural part of the cycle and you are going to fix the problem and you have seen a lot of death before. But Iris, this is, I mean, this is bleak and horrible. And there's a part of you that was going, oh, elves, maybe yeah, I can yeah, find out things about right? it. Right. And I, that, like, that hope has been snuffed. 
and Lord Tyndall is, uh, yeah, so there's, there's a, an air of melancholy and some digging sounds as Yorg buries the fallen elf. And, um, yes. I'm going to sing a song around the campfire. No, uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna sing a song about um, grief and dealing with it and um, make people feel better. That's an inspiration. Roll me a performance check. Uh, what is performance? I bet it is. Uh, 20. Perhaps. Not natural, but yeah. Um, <coughs> I'll ask much more than that. Tyndall sits down and he. Uh, He uh, says, thank you. Thank you, Neve. And uh, he says, how does the chorus go? So, uh, and he, he joins in, and you all find yourselves singing this, um, yeah, singing yeah, this song. It's not a it's happy the... song, but it's a song of solidarity. And yeah, you find yourself singing this, it's an old soldier's song, actually. Is it? Um, it is. It's about the, the friends who aren't with you anymore. And you, you know the words? You're, you're good. <laughs> You're giving. It's interesting. You know this one. And so everybody. It was given to me by my teacher. It's interesting that you know it. You sing this song and everybody feels a little bit better. And you sit and eat what is left of your rations, and sleep through the night. And don't think you're getting away with like these dancing lessons. <laughs> lessons. Of course. What? Remiss of me. Step, step. And Tyndall. Yeah, very well. Very well. Amazing. Tyndall leads you. You've you've salvaged the evening and uh Tyndall um he leads you in a dancing lesson. He's very good. Um you are not. He's very fun. <laughs> and we'll visit that in more detail in no, this. But for now, uh we are gonna cut to two. Day is um waning and you've been travelling up the river, you've had your food, and Mina is has got her nose. Uh, she's writing out everything she learned about the Red Fist Orcs. Um, and she's willing to talk to you. She's helping, but in the snatches she's got, she's saying, oh yes, this was a name that I remember. This was a... She's gathering information. She's writing all this yeah. stuff down. Um, we should probably look at finding somewhere to, I don't know, park this boat? Indeed. <laughs> do, you, do you have any idea how to moor? Um, yes, I believe we need... And she looks at the ropes. <laughs> <laughs> These... I have rope. Oh, she, excellent. I have some rope as well. My you do not have rope. rope. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah, you do an inventory check. Mm. You have on you one knife. Uh, sorry, you have, sorry, you have uh, a blade. Yeah. The knife it's that was in your boots that you still have. Knife. Yeah. You have... Uh, roll me a d4. Well... One. Give me your character sheet. You were in a scrabble to get out. Okay, you managed to bring with you. Roll me another d4. One. <laughs> you managed to bring with you your disguise kit. Okay. You do not have on you your bow. Your short sword, your thieves' tools. So I still have the short sword which I stuck and grabbed off with all. Yeah, you do, but you do not have your masterwork short sword. Yeah. Your bow, your masterwork thought short sword, your thieves' tools, and your gold okay. are all elsewhere. Oh. So we need to move the boat using only a thick moustache. <laughs> <laughs> Mina says, I, I have rope, and she opens up her brown bag, reaches in again, and pulls out a big scroll of rope. Excellent. All right. Well, let's give it a go. Is, is this kind of it's a, that's a about the same size as the bag spool of rope? Uh, it's 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 a big spool of rope. Um, and is it a bag that looks like it can contain a big spool of rope and other things? Uh, make me a. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have a clue. Make it perception. Don't roll. Don't roll. Maybe a perception check. Oh, just a bag of holding. Uh, uh, that's well. The technical destination would be a Hayward's handy haversack. <laughs> Well, you can't buy those in my world, so... Oh, can you buy a kick No, you can't buy magic items in my world. Oh, of course you can't, because they're all fucking... Oh, 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 maybe not then. Well, you get a 12, oh, you notice nothing out of the ordinary. Rope, rope. Just rope. 
I'm well afraid I'd be a dungeon when someone's taking rope out of a bag. I've got other things to look at. Uh, so yeah, you pull some rope out. And can you please make me a... She's going to help you so you have advantage, cool. but you're the one that wants to make the test. Good lord. Use rope skill. It, skill. try and tie it to a, a survival. Survival. Seems reasonable. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. So you survive. You manage to <laughs> you manage to tie um, some rope up. You undo the rope that was there, the moorings that are now completely useless, and you've replaced them with other moorings that you will be able to use to lash your ship to something. And you see coming into view down the river, there is a little. Uh, uh, there's a series of jetties, and what looks like a there's maybe four buildings uh, in a, a wooden outpost that's mm-hmm. attached to the river. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's getting dark, and there is a place you could dock. Mina says, oh, should we dock here? Mm-hmm. I'm still exhausted. You I are. I've spent the whole day trying to save the boat as you well. Need, you need a long rest. Honestly, I think we're going to go on a bit further and just try and tie the boat to a tree rather than Why? risk confronting. They, they, unknown people. They may not be hostile. But if they are hostile, we're screwed. I I suppose that's true. Um, there is a shout out to you from the outpost. Yeah. Hail, hail, travelers! In what language? Hail. Uh, yeah, in Estonian. Oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> 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 Me there, can you communicate with this person, please? Um, a dwarf pokes his head over the, uh, the little outpost wall and he says, um, uh, Welcome, you need a place safer than that? I mean, if they're being crazy. <laughs> <yeah. laughs> um, and uh, Mina says, uh, It's a dwarf, he says, Do we need a place to stay? Yes, yes. If he's friendly, then let's knock off. Certainly can. Cost you 10 gold for the night. She translates. Um, Mina, do you have any gold? <laughs> I, uh, I have some. Um, I'll, I'll have it with you. I don't have any. I'm sorry, I didn't grab any from the... Um, how much gold does she have? Let's see. Or the detail. The detail, no, that'll be, that'll be really rubbish. No, she has, she has some gold. A D4, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> it's a Blower aloft. <laughs> she has nine gold um, oh, on forty-six. Wow! Oh. Uh, <laughs> haggle, haggle, Mina. Go on, you can do it. Ten is a lot. Well, uh, ten is a lot for safe harbour north of the border. No, it's not. Uh, I. She turns. Um, we. I'll give you. How do I haggle? What do I say? Just say nine and some food. Nine and some food. Done. Yes. 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 All right. Um, Let's go. Oh, ask him if he can help more of us. <laughs> um, a couple, Another ten gold. <laughs> a couple of dwarves come out and they uh, they take your moorings and they help tie your boat in. Um, and Captain Lucy doesn't need to be involved in such matters. <laughs> oh God, we're all going to die here <laughs> again. And. You don't have a gangplank. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. So you jump down. Yeah, uh, both you it. and Mina are perfectly competent at jumping down. So you do. And you see that there is a... Um, there's a very few buildings here. They're pretty... They're very sturdily made, but they're not... There's not a lot of people here. Okay. Um, you jump down and you see that there are three dwarves there. And they say, you uh, need anything unloading? Says one. Uh, not today. Can we just have a place to sleep? Sure. Is there uh, any uh, red fist on board? Nope. They usually stop by here. No, none. All right. Well, uh, come on in. We'll get you settled up. We'll make for a quieter night in the town, at least. <laughs> My name's Jonas. And this here's uh, Millie and Sally Ann. And uh, Millie, who was looking to unload things, shrugs, uh, make sure that the docking's tight and they need you in. Um, there's a, a tavern that's not very big, uh, it would fit maybe a dozen people at a squeeze. Yeah. 
And so you come in and sit down. Uh, there's a fire roaring, a dwarf smoking a pipe. Hmm. There is also a dwarf on the lookout with a crossbow. Okay. Um, the dwarf smoking a pipe says, what can I get you? And the mead and does anybody know where there's a large lake somewhere west? <laughs> <laughs> the Lake of Tears. Yes, that sounds, that's exactly where we're going. I knew that. <laughs> uh, sure, certain, uh, Lake of Tears. Well, you can either follow on up to the water source in the hills mm-hmm. and then make your way on foot, else you want to head back down upstream and then he gives you directions along the river. He says you want to get up to the Ellesmere and then follow it all the way along. There's a route through along Ooh, the Ellesmere. Could we sail there? You'd have to go back down through, uh, you'd have to go back down through Galatea and then come along and back up the rivers the other way. It's a long way around. You can do it. it sounds safe on a boat, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> we, tend, we run into trouble wherever we go, so let's take the boat. Certainly. <laughs> I suppose if you got nowhere to be fast, it'll take you, uh, oh, maybe a month. A month? Yeah. Uh, how long would it take to walk? Oh, um, walk maybe a couple of days. <laughs> wow, so long for like. What you gonna do with them lizard folk? Lizard folk. <laughs> what you doing with the? Oh God! Everything's on fire. What you doing with one of them uh, redfish vessels? Oh, we borrowed it. Oh, we borrowed it, did you? Make me a perception <laughs> check. Um, yes. Uh, you, th- you, are, we are, you are all in. Uh, the dwarves are Jonas, who I'm playing. Then there's Millie, Sally Ann. Yeah, I'm uh, Sally Ann. And there's Tyler. Tyler. Um, How is your deception check? Twenty. Not natural, but twenty. Oh wow. Uh huh. Okay. They don't believe you, but they also don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you borrowed it, did you? Good on you. Good job. They'll uh, be wanting that back at some point, I expect. Oh. Well, I mean, you're welcome to sell it to them. Uh, if you could uh, give us a few supplies for our trip. Look at each other. You'll trade us your boat for some supplies. Uh, a couple of daggers. Maybe you some want thieves some tools. Daggers. <laughs> no. you, you do know Hold that's... on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> let her speak, let, let her speak. speak. <laughs> now, these, these are... I mean, the only daggers I can give you will be my personal daggers. Well, there's sentimental value there. Mm-hmm. I'll take them all. <laughs> <laughs> you, got oh, a, you got an affection for knives or something? That's, I mean, that's that's mine fine, but you, you got my affection for knives. Uh, oh, and a bow. A you goblin a bow? comes in. Oh. Um, you all, uh, everybody at the bar knows this goblin, this is Snort. There's um, not. Oh. Hey. I'll have a tomid, tomid. Oh, no fuck, no fuck. <laughs> two for you and, and uh, uh, two, one for you and one for somebody else. The Orchamak? Nope. Somebody has borrowed their boat. Borrowed by. <laughs> Mimi Castle is there. Um, yes. Uh, she starts talking to one of them about uh, a tomb that might be nearby. Uh, uh, sorry, my bride is a little uh, out of practice, not been uh, all that long. Don't get many bridal folk up here. <clears throat> Listen, you're willing to do away with that boat. I mean, we can see our way to some kind of trade. Get you some supplies, get you some sorted. Hell, probably not going to be around here too long anyway. We got the summons to answer. Oh, there you off you. Um, they, the dwarves will look at each other and uh, Jonas says, I'll do respect, ma'am. That's a uh, dwarf man. Hey, fair enough. It would be a nice journey by boat. That's what we'll I'm thinking. Out there. And you know, maybe maybe we um, maybe we do a, a quick paint job on this uh, boat and may up, oh. may up. It's uh, I think maybe we do that uh, pretty yeah, soon. Maybe, maybe we yeah, do maybe that. It's not a how, rep, is how, how, how recently did you borrow it and from what direction? Uh, earlier today. 
All right, snort. <laughs> 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 um, hey, Todd, up on the top. Two, a, two of them immediately go out yeah. to, start painting, uh, <laughs> to start painting the boat. You see any orcs coming from, uh, from um, down river, you give us a shout. Right? Meanwhile, one of them says, we ain't got a great deal here. We do trade some such, but uh, what is it you're looking for? Give them a list. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, uh, a dagger, a bow, yep. some arrows, yep. and a bit of gold. Just like mm-hmm. five to ten. Oh, they'll give you more gold than that. Cool. Um, food is it cool. Well, hey, if you're traveling without your, uh, you traveling without your boat, we might, we might be able to see you do a horse. Uh, no, they're animals. Ah, never mind. Mm-hmm. Um, horse? We ate the last time one. we saw a horse up here. <laughs> uh, yeah, so they, they, they will give you all of that stuff. Is that what you want? They All of that and just a place to stay and uh, if I ever run into you guys again. Literally. That's just my friend. I mean, Sol, they are uh, they are uh, so happy uh, to do that. I, I, am, I have a big fan of friends, particularly when those friends turn up and give us a free boat. Uh, um, wait, 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 wait. Wait, we're trading for this boat. Sentimental daggers, remember? <laughs> Those sentimental <laughs> daggers, yeah. <laughs> you, got, you got anything stowed in this boat? Or did you not look when you were borrowing it? <laughs> oh, Jesus. We should check that. Uh, <laughs> all right. What is in this boat? <laughs> all right. What is in the boat, Josh? <laughs> Nobody's checked. Um, <laughs> it's full of snakes. I realized that a while ago. It's full of snakes. They're all made of gold. <laughs> gold snakes. 15 tons of gold snakes. We're not sure why. This boat is not sucked <laughs> either. <laughs> Um, okay. Oh, sorry, 14 tons of cold snakes. That's all right. <laughs> uh, so you go and have a look in the hold of this boat. Yeah. And in the hold of this boat, there are a, um, there are a bunch of weapons. <gasps> all right. I, 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 I wait. Hang you on, you want to go the train made, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I get first dibs. You said you, were, you said you wanted a bow, right? We'll okay, trade you a bow. We've got a new there stock here. <laughs> um, yeah, there are a whole bunch of weapons. You were not there, uh, so you did not see the wagon full of weapons. But... No, 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 it's fine. This, you... is a, this is a different wagon, I assume, because we, the yeah. lizard folk got there. Oh, yeah. 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 There, there, there oh, have been many wagons. Ma- many, wa- ma- many wagons of weapons. Yes, um, there's a whole bunch of weapons here, and some armour, and some... Basically, have a look through the player's handbook. More, you're giving them a boat and all the rest of the inventory. You can basically have anything you want. Nice. It is not masterwork. That is equipment. No, but equipment. you can have any non, uh, uh, weapons and armor. It's all there. Yeah. Um, cool. Meanwhile, uh, you guys have made camp. Um, the next morning, a somewhat bruised Sir Tyndall uh, thanks you for his. Um, I'll. I'll have done watches and stuff. I know you're skating over it because it's not important, but I want to get it out there that York is not camping out in the open without watches. I didn't say it wasn't important. Uh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. You, you skated over it as a thing. I, I did, I, I, I did I, skate I, over it this time. That's I, fine. I want to just put, put it out there as a thing that York is not letting a knife without uh, watches go past. That's fine. Um, um, oh, Tanks, quite. Um, okay. I'm going to. So, should we just say from for the moment that I'm going to be one point of. Lay our hands down to That's fine. Have, have sparred with Lord Tim. Sweet, uh, and he is he is um, he's, he's on his way to getting a level of something. Uh, don't know what yet. But don't know what yet. We'll find out. Uh, good job, guys. Oh. Well, well done. Looking off we your NPC. You can um, teach him to sing. We will. The dawn is breaking, and you can now. Well, the dawn has broken. It's early morning, and you can see the farmland behind you, which doesn't look so haunting or grim in the morning as it did the night before. Um, also, you have a much better vantage point. It's a very clear day. It's quite cold uh, today. You can leave messages in trees and stuff like that. Can I you? can. Do you want to put a warning out for that? Yes, I will. Uh, I will do that. Still like the idea of fire. If we get to the well source, it, won't. it shouldn't matter. If we get to the well source, then... You leave a warning in Druidic. Um, it winds its way around the farm. It takes a long I time. Know that. If we set fire here and walk off and leave it, we could lose half the woodland. We don't know how much of a gap is there between the, the farmland and the woods. It's, yeah. it's pretty. There, 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 there is a gap. There is. I mean, there's fields and then vineyards and then the village. Like they've, they've, they've cleared a space to live in, but there's fire. there's a risk. I mean, fire is a fickle bitch sometimes. Let's Which go. way is the wind blowing? Uh, today? It's blowing due east. 
So is that towards the river? We're not on the river, are we? No. No. Well, you're not too far. Um, you're really so it's a very clear day, and we're on one of the hills. That's correct. Is there any signs of any tombs or anything on any of the other hills? Mm. Uh, take me a perception check. Um, thirteen. On a fair, fair thirteen, you can see that you are you now up here somewhere. Uh, yeah, you stop on in this kind of area, mm-hmm. and you're headed up to about here. Oh, so we can see the Lake of Tears. Uh, yeah, you can on oh, from this hill. Um, what a beauty! Yeah, you can just about make out the the beginnings of the Lake of Tears. It is a a, a delta of different rivers and waterways stretching out, and it is absolutely beautiful. It is a bright green and a light blue. And those are the main colours, this green and blue hue across the entire horizon facing that way. You realise that this map is inaccurate. The Lake of Tears is really big. Mm. It's a, I mean, they've kind of gone, Lake of Tears is kind of it's off that way. And it's huge. It's kind, like, of, kind of in, a, in this heavy monsters kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, look, they've, they've drawn a big lake and they've gone, look, that's where it is. That's not at all what it looks like. It's this vast network. And you can see off in the distance, um, some way away, something glinting off the morning sun and it looks like the it looks like a stepped ziggurat uh sticking out of the water there are lots of people in the lake of tears you see towns you see villages you see uh boats lots of boats moving on the rivers you can see people moving around you can also see from here um glinting on armour and weapons as there are distant units moving around. There's stuff going on in mm-hmm. the Lake of Tears. We, we should head back down the hill, back to the river, oh, you and follow it up to the source. Also spot uh, from this hill, much closer, uh, but there is a black stone pillar. Mm-hmm. Um, which is much, much closer to you. So you are there, uh, and there is a black stone pillar, which is on a hill over here somewhere. <clears throat> you can yes. see from here, you can see the river also, up on this hill. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, okay. yeah. So we go to the pillar, and then down to the river, and follow the river up to the source. That's the plan? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can we see any... Um... Inhabited areas on the river, jetties, for example. Small outposts. Take a perception check. What's that? You should be doing that more. Well, guidance. It's a cantrip. Every time anyone has to take a check at all, you go have some guidance and they get a d4 bonus. It's like my bless, but oh. for skills. And it's a cantrip, so you do it all the time and every time anyone does a skill. It's amazing. Oh, so, right. Yorg, what, do you, what, do you Yorg what do your elven eyes see? Uh, hey! <laughs> <laughs> never seen an elf, man. 15. Yeah, I have. I've never seen an elf. 15. Um, 15. And you get a d4 on top yeah, of that. Yeah, that was it. Uh, on a 15, Jorg, you see that there is a, uh, there, yeah, there is a, uh, a jetty and a little outpost off, uh, maybe half a day's walk, uh, well, due, whatever that is, west of you, I don't know, east, east, yeah, due east, half a day's walk due east, there's a little dwarven outpost, um, with a jetty, it's got a ship on it, uh, a, a little boat moored up by it. It looks like a little kind of a trading post. Can should we, go we be there? worried? Can we go there? Uh, no, it looks like dwarf magic should be fine. Okay. Um, uh, I don't suppose it's roughly on a route if we were to go past the pillar, is it? Sort of somewhere over here, isn't it? Uh, is it, is it is it on route past the pillar? If we go to the pillar, we would be able to swim past there. Uh, you will. That's no, I, I, I really want to. I really want to reunite the party. At yeah, the same I think time. it's going to be at the source. Yeah, that's going to end in two sessions of the party. Then, so it's not, it's not ideal. Um, but that's what it is. So 
Well, I'd like to go there. Mm. And really? That seems to be on the way to. Why would you like to go there, Iris? You've never mentioned anything about these like interest in like hills and stuff That's before. Right, we're getting fucked together. I'm not interested in going there. <laughs> um, well, we don't know if that post down on the river has been affected by this blight. We, should, we don't know. We should probably warn them, actually. We don't know who it belongs to. It's, um, dwarf, it's it looks like dwarf made structures. Mm. I've seen a few. But we're so close to Red Fist territory that there's every chance mm. that it might there's not belong to them right there. now. Do you know what kind of boat that is? No, I don't. I'm not. On, I'm, not on it. I'm a soldier, not a sailor. Different. Um, I think we should go to the world source via I think, the pillar. And via the pillar. Sweet. Do it. Um, because cool. that fixes all our problems. Uh, and so you I mean fixes some specific problem. Yes. You head off that away. Meanwhile, Freya. Freya has acquired um, some studded Captain Lucille. Some <laughs> studded leather armor. Oh. Fine. Uh, a hand crossbow yep. and two long swords. You are gonna struggle to walk uh, with two long swords. <laughs> You're gonna want <laughs> Are you gonna want short swords? Things but, that have yeah, uh, short death. swords and rapiers. I have proficiency in long swords. Yeah, that's fine, but, but they're not dex, they're not dex so you don't so get your... Oh, but basically if a weapon um, says... So, so you can attack with your strength. Mm-hmm. How is your strength looking? I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> no, my strength is very bad. <laughs> so <laughs> rapiers, uh, yes. you have, yeah, you can absolutely have a pair of dueling rapiers. You yes. have a rapier oh, and a main yeah. gauge. Uh, so you now have, your studded leather is kind of... Uh, it's remarkable they shouldn't have had this, but they did. You managed to get some... Form-fitting black studded leather with which just looks amazing. You look yeah. shiny. You look like a sexy pirate captain. Yes. Um, a little puff of a puff of white from a shirt. Yeah. Just just a little bit coming out. And yeah, and you've got, pirate and your hat. pirate hat. Your pirate hat. Yeah, this is a new like Freya redesign. You got the captain the Lucille. Captain Lucille. Captain Lucille. <laughs> Um, <laughs> this is this is Freya's mid-season costume redesign. <laughs> um, Mina says, if you're heading up to the well source, um, I think I'm going to continue my, my search, um, which will not we'll take me ways. in the same direction as you, and we will part ways. Okay, well, oh, best of luck, Romance is over and to you. I hope I, we meet again. Oh, she's a named character, we're totally going to meet again. Um, so she's breathing tunes. Best of luck, yeah. Lady Lucille. You probably run into her. <clears throat> and she sees you again. So, Anything that was finesse next week, you can use dexterity and right. strength to attack. Uh, you make you want you make your way. Uh, query: How much gold did the dwarves give her on top? Dwarves oh, yeah. gave you two uh, d twenty gold. Nice. That's all they've got. They have loads on them. At least two, uh, six, and three. Nine, gave you nine gold for this boat. That oh, nine gold. Nine gold. For <laughs> hey, you, you know what? If it comes right down to it, easy. Time. As you go, yeah. Yeah. So, as they're both as they gave re- you eight gold, and go, that's all we've got. I promise. <laughs> they're desperately <laughs> repainting it, renaming it. It's a salty sea lion. Um, okay, yeah, these dwarves are repainting this. Um, yeah. Different sails, different lady on the front. It's, they swear yeah. they've owned it for years. <laughs> um, Sentimental value, this boat. Yeah. This, <laughs> I mean, we could Possibly. sell it. We could sell it. To, we, 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 we could sell it to you, Mr. Red Fist Orc, but you know, it's got sentimental value. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so the dwarves um, bid you farewell, snort the goblin, um, uh, thank you, and uh, he goes back to Manning. Goodbye. The, um, <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> and you leave. And he turns to something to them. And they, they're all like, wow, we're all snapbacker, bagger. We're all snapbacker. Well, they speak a language you just don't speak. I am up here in the wildlands. I have no need for your tongues. <laughs> okay, that's where the word barbarian comes from. It's from the Greek. Because uh, they called everyone who lived outside of Greece, they thought the sound, it was incredibly racist, they thought the sound that these peoples made was ba 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 So the barbarians are the people who go ba 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 So the barbaric tribes are the people who aren't civilised enough to speak Greek. It's, yeah, it's, uh, insert modern racist 
thing that that's, that's where that comes from. So, oh. you part ways, they are very happy to have seen you. <laughs> <laughs> and they're planning to leave best anyway. Friend we've given them best, a friend 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 anyway. best friend we've ever made. Yeah, if you can just bribe them all with a fucking boat, then you'll oh, be wow. fine. Boat of weapons. <laughs> it's a boat of weapons. <laughs> Someone's getting quite annoyed that those weapons aren't there. Uh, that's so fine. have quite a all significant impact in the ongoing conflict. Maybe. Well, it wasn't me, it was the dwarves. Yeah. Yeah. And this Lady Freya character, well, whoever she is. At least, no, at least Captain Lucia. At least when the dwarves <laughs> <they're laughs> go up to their summons, they'll have, but uh, hey guys, you want some sweet fucking weapons? Right. You make your way, uh, roll me a d12, please. Yes. Oh, which one's the 12? Uh, this one. No, it's the saddest dice. Uh, and you, that's why, that's why I include it. So you make your way across. Do you include it as rather than carry dice to make the D12 feel happier about yeah. it? Uh, so you make your way away from the outpost and through the woods. You feel pretty swish. Uh, you've got I a brand new do. threads, you've got do. a decent sword. Suddenly you're like, yeah, you know what? I'm just this... strutting through the forest. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. You're strutting through the forest and feeling pretty good about yourself. And you're not entirely sure where you're going, but it doesn't really matter. You're like, hey, I'm it's just going to go... The lake is big, apparently. I'm <laughs> Grand. You go and find Iris and nicely rock to... That's where you head. Uh, you guys are making your way up a hill. Um, you see that there is... Um, you've been walking for an hour or so, and... Just admiring the countryside. You, you've got a new lease on life. You, things have changed quite a lot in the last few days. You've been kidnapped a couple of times. You've now got a pair of cool yeah. rapiers. Everybody thinks you're dead or kidnapped by orcs or both. It's uh, deliberate. Let's be fair. Yeah. Nobody thinks she's dead. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> thinks she's dead. And you look up, and on the hill uh, in front of you, you can see that there is a black stone pillar. Um, you have. Never seen one of these. <laughs> I know you've probably you've seen these around. There are they're dotted all over the place, but they're not. No one knows what they are. This blackstone pillar has golden markings on it. Uh, they usually do. So some kind of markings. Um, there is someone approaching the pillar from the same side of the hill as you. Okay. It's walking. It's walking up the hill. I say. Well, it's someone behind them. Up the hill. You are behind them. Yeah. You're some way behind them, they haven't noticed you, mm. and they're nowhere near the pillar yet, but you, they are on the same kind of path. Okay. It doesn't have very really brightly coloured hair, by any chance. Uh, meanwhile, on the other side <laughs> of the hill, <laughs> and walking towards, um, you, uh, there is the rest of the party. The rest of the party, you are making your way up towards this pillar. It is in much less acrimonious conditions than you approached the previous one. Mm. Um, yeah, it's actually kind of nice to, to see one of these things without being immediately concerned for my well-being. Mm. Oh well, time for that to change, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> yes. So it'll be good to take our time, really thoroughly investigate, see what we can learn. Last, last time I touched one, I had a, a vision. I, I told you the, the wings and the... Mm. So, Tim, are you interested in architecture at all, or...? <laughs> I, I, I am. Oh. Do you know anything about the standing stones? Okay, then I suppose this is a thing for you to enjoy as well. Standing stones? Uh, uh, I'm not entirely certain, but um, we know that they were all... Uh, they're, not, they're not of this continent, are they? All right. Well, why not? But you're... What? The, the stone is not found anywhere around here. Well, you can tell. Uh, when you... When you uh, Look at a stone, there are, there are ways of uh, working out where it's come from. Are you um, a stone wizard? I'm not a wizard at all. You are a constant source of surprises, Lord Trimble. So, what do we know? In the best possible way. What do we know? We know that it doesn't come from this continent. There's certainly nowhere that we found. There are no quarries that produce stone like this. There's no uh, ore that we can find that can make anything like this. It is a naturally occurring stone. It can be broken. Uh, but uh, that, that, this is something everybody yeah. knows. Not in any continent that we're aware of. Well, no, not in this continent. Let's see, I, our trade with other continents is not nothing, but it is certainly not as expansive as it could be. The seas are treacherous places, mm. especially for transporting stone. Eventually, we are an island, um, and lastly, they have been there for a very long time. Mm. Um, well, thank you. Yeah, you're very welcome. I, 
Thank you. When we come back again, we'll tingle to the fact that you live in a very different world or were up until now, and we'll know things for certain that we don't. As a soldier, what did I need to know about rocks? <laughs> Well, what is the use of having one of the largest libraries in the kingdom if one does not avail oneself of it? Absolutely. I've seen more books in the last <laughs> week and a half than I've seen the rest of my life. Uh, no, that's a lie. I've seen some. I've never seen quite so many up close. I was taught to read and write and try to learn the numbers and such in the well, camp, but I, I shall, I shall see what we can do. Um, meanwhile, we're heading up to the stone for some yeah. reason. <laughs> um, Iris has a have some form of affinity with them, uh, and um... he was stone wizard. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Touche, <laughs> sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, now that I come to think about it, yes. It seems that technically <laughs> you, yes, <laughs> you are. Um, I see. Good. The, good. The, 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 my my power uh, seems to come okay from this. I don't understand how, but this awakened something inside me and made me how I am today. Interesting. I need that place under, please. Um, most interesting. W- when did this occur? Uh, You're making your way up now towards the top. Uh, perception check from... You're talking... I'm at the front. You, Neve. Uh, that is... 18. A, f- a few months ago now, uh, I was... <laughs> set upon by a a band of brigands and tied up against a stone. Um, As as they held me there, they discussed what to do with me, but I felt a surging through me and it took control and left them as only charred corpses on the floor. He takes a step away from you. (laughs) So since then I've been trying to control it and, and not stop things. that from happening again. Well, it seems like a very commendable course of action <laughs> to me. Is there any assistance I can render you in not burning people to death? <laughs> uh, no, I'm not unaware, but if, if I think... Alas! <laughs> very well. Um, yes, do please let me know. Um, so yes, I rolled an 18. You see that there is somebody who has just crested the other side of the hill and is approaching the standing stone. Can I see anything more than it's just a person? Uh, you can see that it is a purple-haired half-elf. She is... Who sorts of us have odd hair? Look, we need to get you a dye job, all right? You just, you're not... <laughs> just look you're, you're, yeah. you're not... You're not... You're not... You're not... Uh, she has really yourself. pale skin. Really, like... Like milky white pale skin. Um, all right, I'm going to. Um, and a shock of purple hair. It's quite a whoa, dis- disjoint. Yeah, I'm not going to shillelagh up, but I'm going to raise my stick and I'm going to say to the group, "We've got company." She. I am sneaking up. <laughs> <laughs> Roll me your stuff, please. Um, you know, twenty-two. Just, just, just fuck okay. off with that. All right. it's, it's almost as if her two expertise skills are, in fact, acrobatics and stealth. All right. So. What are your secrets? All right, someone move back the wild ones for me. Thank you very much. So, this is a hill. This may not become a combat. Although, my hope for it not becoming a combat is pretty fucking slim. No, you know, Ah, you know your players, I see. Captain Lucille. Sorry, no, that is on the case. Yes. Right, these are <laughs> ISO heights. ISO heights of five feet, which require uh, ten feet to move up to cross the ISO line. That's how this works. <clears throat> uh, yes, and there is. <laughs> that's, that's fine. I don't mind that. It's okay. Uh, and it's actually quite steep at the top, so. We'll have that like that as a proper rake up to thank you. That's fine. I do have a thing for it, but we'll use that because we've got that there and I can't find my thing right now. So, um, it's a shame I do have an obelisk. You can use the, the, the painting grip, would probably be more yeah, yeah, yeah. actually better, isn't it? Yeah, we'll do that. It's a, it's, a, it's a large black thing. There we go. There you go. 
GW, um, if you want to sponsor this. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Please, yeah. please, 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 please. <laughs> okay, so um, if you would like, that's where you're coming from. The elf with crazy purple hair has just come up to there. And we're coming up this side, are we? You are coming up that side. Where's your side? Where am I going? I don't know. You're around. There. You're around. Mm-hmm. Hidden me under a piece of paper. So, well, okay, cool. So you're making your way up this hill and you see this elf with crazy purple hair. She approaches the Dolmen Stone and you see that this one, like the others, is covered in strange markings and glyphs. Um, yeah, you spot this. Would you... Yeah, you can't see this yet. That's good, that's good, that's good. Invisible things. Okay, uh, does anybody have any reactions? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna Did stop the screen yeah. and say, we've got company. Okay, you can now all see this elf. You say that loud enough for her to hear, and she doesn't Hell. see you. She turns and she looks and she says, Hail. Hello. Hail. What, uh, in this style? Mm-hmm. Well, you say Helen uh, Browder. I, I say Helen Browder more as a reflex than anything else. That's fine. You say Helen Browder and she. Hail. What business have you here at the stone? I have a oh. connection to the stones. Peaceful business, hopefully. You say, I have a connection to the stones. And she. Uh, it is initiative. She's going to attack. Whoa. Okay. She really good, really good, really good. Uh, see, they micro-patched it since the last game. Um, which yeah. was buffering quite badly, too. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, so... Um, no, they, they clearly upgraded the sorcerer class because I got 21. <laughs> 10. With my thieves thing, which lets me add charisma, is that on top of what it was before? Yeah. Nice. So, 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 on 13. You monster. <laughs> you fucking monster. <laughs> what did you get, Jacob? No, 21. Nice. Um, um, your hit points fall back. Iris on 21. What did, uh, uh, less than 21? 10. So you got 19, did you, Freya? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 19. Freya on 19. The sorcerer. Winning the Paul Hart nah. with uh, excellence in geometric randomization. Uh, what do you roll? 10. 10, and you'll go to. Sweet. So, so not appearing in this encounter. <laughs> Did I recognise your voice? Uh, roll me in straight intelligence check. Yeah. Oh, she definitely do. Do. Yeah, 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 you definitely do. Sweet, you definitely recognise. You go, that's Yorg. What the hell is he doing here? Um, that's that. That's that. That's that. Uh, Yorg's on a ten. And Yorg's not on a ten. Yorg's on a two. Uh, you sorry. Uh, your witness he was on a 10. I wish, I, I dream of that. <laughs> like he hikes and I'm a double digit. Uh, it's a double digit initiative. Occasionally okay. the dice tease um, me by rolling a 10 and then it goes down to a 9. She says, <laughs> okay, she says, uh, she shouts at you and she says, uh, okay, let's get this right. She says, you know how this has to go. And she goes, what? One, two, three, Four, five. Fucking Highlander. I'm getting that vibe. And she's Jesus. going to. Uh, can we do it? Yeah, actually, that, she's that, going. She's that, going to go that, five to there. Is that burning hands position. And she's going to burning hands, um, which doesn't hit you, Eve. Okay. Uh, but it does hit you three. Uh, would everyone like to take me a reflex save? She reaches up her hands. Her eyes glow, uh, a little tattoo that you now see is uh, emblazoned on her shoulder and down her breastbone glows as well. And as she does it, so too do the runes start to glow on the obelisk. And she surges her hands forward towards you. Wow. Would you like to take a reflex safe, please? Everybody who's being here, including Lord Tyndall. Dex, yeah. Uh, Dex, yes. Uh, Fuck me, do you want to pass? No. Uh, I'll roll for Tyndall. Uh, I'm going to finally invoke my soul thing. I think it's a wise decision. Tyndall, Seven doesn't seem Tyndall, very good. I have this feeling like Tyndall passes by bodily hiding I, behind your I, 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 He passed at a 19. 19. Amazing. Uh, Tyndall got a 19, I got a... I rolled six. more on my 2d4 than my 20. What did you get total? Uh, 15 plus 2, 17. 17 is enough. Um, 17 is definitely enough. 
Um, anybody who would failed... Would be a serious bucket problem if it wasn't. Would anybody who failed please take 14 points of fire damage? Whoa. <laughs> and those who passed can only take 7. Um, York just takes it full in the face. He's not expecting this. <laughs> um, yeah. The, there is a whoff of flame. You see there is like panic and fear and excitement and all kinds of stuff in her eyes. Uh, that was her turn. It is now Iris. You're up. Is it past half or past? Uh, past half. You, so Tyndall is probably still. Tyndall, down. he's taking some damage. Uh, I'm, he's he's still up. He hit. He stood behind you in the breadth of the flame. So yeah, as this gout of flame came from her hands, it was like a big cone of flamethrower. Um, Tyndall stepped behind you, Yorg, and Legit. and it went and it licked around him, and he's. Curled in at the edges, this is a terrifying thing. Yeah. She swept her hands down and flames have appeared. Uh, go, Iris. Okay. Um, I'm just going to put it out there. Sleep is probably not going to cut it. Yep. Although, yeah. uh, if anyone wants to fire off, no, probably not. Um, no. Um, instead. Uh, Mm. Okay. Burning hands type stuff. Um, okay, so instead, <laughs> there is. I have walk up to her. <laughs> Excuse one, me, two, just three. brush off some of the burning. <laughs> what, what are you doing? There's no need. We mean you no harm. And I'm just, you know, I'm not even going to attack her, but just coming up to her and saying, stop. I don't understand why you're doing this. Uh, okay, sweet. You say that to her. Freya. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do I have line of sight from here? Yes. Yes, yes you do, yes. I do. I've, well, I've got a hand for a so I... You are so fabulous, you really are. What's your plan? Use it or lose it. Yeah, yeah I'm going to shoot... Fine. I'm going to attempt to shoot the elf. I'm going to use the opposite of sharpshooter, which lets me just shoot it extra hard and take my minus five. To minus five. So that is, sharp, uh, that is sharpshooter. It's, uh, yeah. yeah, sorry. It's, it's, you're, you're using yeah. the active ability on sharpshooter. Yep, yeah. yeah. Minus five to your hit. Um, uh, you not hit. Oh, you have advantage, you're attacking from hidden. No, I'm definitely going to hit. What do you uh, get? I got an, a, a one and a three. <laughs> not natural, but... Yeah, you really missed. Because <laughs> uh, you add your, like... You, you still miss. A plus still, you still miss. Still miss. Um, there's a... And there's a... The bolt goes flying past her. And she... Uh, assumes that you have come up to her to distract her while a shot was being, being made. Lovely. Um, she clicks her fingers. Go, or... you, oh, it's, oh, it's needed. This, this is a surprise round. This is, well, it's not a surprise round, this, this is stuff. That's extra. There's more than, there's, one, there's thing more on than one thing on the map. Um, she clicks her fingers and it looks much more like this now. Um, it is a little uh, stone gargoyle um, appears beside her hmm. and she. Uh, clicks her fingers and it circles and it looks for you. It sees you. Does it see you? What was your stealth? You've got 18. 22. 22? Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Where is Lucy? Uh, okay, it comes around here. It doesn't attack you this turn, but it does discover you because it, it, you're not hidden particularly well. You were hidden and now it finds you. I am just standing on here. Um, that's fine. Neve, you're up. Okay, I'm going to run up to the top of the hill here. That's fine. Um, I'm going to um, touch my hand to the stone and um, sort of feel the connection to the static electricity in the sky, uh, in the clouds up above, and I'm going to thunder wave at this uh, elf with the purple hair. Uh, so she has to roll a constitution saving throw. Is an eight good enough? Uh, no, it is no, it's not. not. Definitely not. Uh, I'm so not that you are a conscious spellcaster. Uh, takes two d8 thunder damage. Yeah. And is pushed back ten feet. That's not ideal. Uh, so that is um, eleven. Uh, eleven right, damage. An extra d6. An extra d6. Yeah, you flung her down a flat stairs basically. And there we go. Two. 
So it's like 13 damage. Yep. Thanks. Cool. Uh, and she is blasted back. Blam! Uh, does she get a save? Um, just take some damage. You, you just you just take the damage. It's uh, you took the con- the failed the save. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Failed so, the con- save, you take the damage. Uh, I give her a reflex save to stay up, and she does. Good. Um, but she. Blah, oh wait, um, hang on. And also wait, five, ten, fifteen. You are just out of influence. No, it's a thunder wave of fifteen, but cone in front. So you you go oh, right. three and three. Got so you go and right. you yeah. I don't run. She is slammed back. She turns and this is not what she wanted at all. Uh, York, you're up. Uh, York. Uh, no, it's a 15 foot cube originating from me. Yeah, so yeah. Oh, I'll show you in a second. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Probably three or three square. Like, somewhat a little bit on fire, but also has just been set on fire. Uh, we can talk more about Oh, yeah, this. there is also anything that you have on you that is immediately flammable. Um, this is really important for those people who got hit. Clothes and, uh, like, boots, stuff that would, would catch fire, has caught fire. That's what Burning Hands does. Oh, yeah, originating. I'm not saying it's like you're in a conflagration. I'm saying that bits of you yeah. are smouldering. Fuck it. Uh, I'm going to love the face of an axe. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, 11? 11 to hit? 11, yes. Uh, 11 is not enough. Uh, fuck you! <laughs> Um, 16. 16 minutes. Thank you. You slip and slide on the hillside. Uh, that's two, and we are going to smite her in the face. Uh, so Slide two, you. five. Uh, I am not striking to kill. I am putting that out. Oh, damage. Uh, uh, see how much damage you do. Uh, 17. Um, your boom upswings with his axe, and she, yeah, well, you go with the haft, actually. Yeah. You, you turn it around and you lump her under the chin. Uh, there's a horrible sound of teeth hitting teeth as she, uh, her head snaps backwards, and she staggers further down the hill and steadies herself. She is dizzy. She is angry, and you are right in front of her. No kidding, who's angry? <laughs> you just set me on fire, bring it. Uh, yeah, okay. So she reaches up and Probably touches a her lot. bleeding Probably. jaw that she now has. She is very nearly unconscious. Um, and she shrieks, pulls back, and says, I have come far too far for this. I will not let you stop me. Um... She you attacked us! Pushes forwards and reflexation for everybody, please. Including Lord Tyndall. Yep, yeah, I'll roll for Lord Tyndall. Lord, oh, Lord Tyndall did not do very well. That's he got a three. Ten. Ten. And I got a nat 20. Yeah, ten is definitely not enough. Um, well, I might not. Oh, maybe it is. I got ten, ten too. Uh, sorry, no, no. Uh, oh, by reflex I mean you do not need to take one of your own. Ten is definitely oh, not enough. Ten. If she is All a right. conscious sorcerer, ten is not enough. Great. That's good. Um, so everybody failed. Uh, yep. So we can all like to take. Oh, I didn't probably want. Okay. That's only seven points of fire damage. She'll drop your. Uh, um, and Lord Tim. Oh boy. Fuck's sake. She goes. I will not let you stop me. Yorg drops. Tyndall drops. How's Iris doing? Uh, one help. One, one HP. Sweet. Uh, it is your turn, Iris. Um, okay. Oh, sorry. She, she did that, and then she goes. Uh, one, two, uh, three, four, five, and just, she's not quite at the thing. She goes, woof, there's a huge gout of flame. It's enormous. This is super impressive and scary. It's surging yeah, it's up through her, proper, yeah. and it's come, woof, it's a massive gout of flame that she goes, woof, over Yorg, who drops, and yeah. Tyndall, who drops, and then she turns, and she runs up to the pillar as, as fast as she can, and she can't quite get there. Iris. Um, she's limping a bit. Okay. Right, I'm gonna yeah, seeing her race for that. I'm gonna race her to it. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So I can just make it. Yeah. Um, that is gonna put it out. That's definitely an attack of opportunity. Touch the stone. Um, what from there? You get a five foot step. You, you don't, but that's fine. Whatever. You know. 
I don't, I don't care, it's fine. Okay. You're, you're running up the hill. Uh, running up the hill. Uh, she is too busy to try and make an attack opportunity. She is desperately trying to reach something. Um, I am going to... Yeah, so make it. Rub your face on it. <laughs> <laughs> Put one hand on it. Yeah. Uh, and then, again, this worked before, channeling the, uh, the power from it. Uh, I'm going to... Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Try and uh, put her to sleep. She seems she looked like she was nearly unconscious. Um, uh, but I'm also aware I've got two people down here who need some healing. Who are, who are, who are so um, uh, part of me is torn and wants to s- stabilize them, but you've got a threat directly in front of me. Okay, that's what you do as you touch the. the, the yeah. Right. Correct. Right. So that, those are the two things yeah, I'm going to do. and the. And the, and the healing. So you touch the pillar and it glows bright gold. All of the runes lining every side of it glow and shine out across the hill like a beacon. It goes woof, like that. Um, yeah, it's hard, to, it's hard to look at this. Uh, the... Uh, okay. Suddenly, you're out of the room. Once again, you can feel the presence of creatures, creatures that have been trapped, creatures that are caged, creatures that are mighty and straining at their bonds. The beating of wings fills your ears and this energy suffuses you. It's leaking out the bars of the cage and you can feel it as you're holding the bars of this cage that it pours into you, just a tiny trickle from these things and it fills you with a golden light. You get slightly more now. The words that come to you, they say, child of angels. And you are back. Uh, Right, so that occurs as the golden light stops. She was desperately going for it. You got there first and you reach out to her And as you do, you reach out to cast sleep and you touch her. As you do, her eyes roll back into her head. Can you please make me a wisdom saving? uh, Sorry, a charisma saving throw. Always use a sterilized man here, kids. Uh, 23. 23, you got a better one than she did, and she's got penalties anyway. So um, you touch her and her eyes roll back into her head and she drops to her knees and she says, and she collapses down. Your hand seems kind of stuck to her as you follow her down to the ground. And as you guys watch, the tattoo that was emblazoned on her like this removes from her body and you gain, uh, leaving itself, it, it was a solid black yeah. and it uh, is now uh, just an outline, a gray outline where it was. And Iris, you can feel a tattoo burning itself into you. Gain the Burning Hand spell. Whoa! Okay. And gain the. Uh, Set stuff on fire, right? Gain the Quicken spell Meta Magic. Yep. Um, which you felt from the men here. So as you pull the Burning Hand spell from this elf and you see her drop to the ground, you turn and cast a Quicken spell. Uh, what do you got? Uh, uh, you, yeah, so you, you turn, and with the power of the men here filling you, yeah. um, you cast Spare the Dying uh, once at Yorg and once again, at uh, Tindor, and the pair of them still burning. Apparently, we had some sort of water in the video. And that, I think, is probably where we are going to. We've, we've got a bit oh, more time. Can we, 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 we get one more scene in? Yeah, we can get one more scene in. Yeah, okay. I'm okay. Um, this. When do you. When... No, we're fine. We're good? Yeah, we're good. great. Right. Uh, sorry. Okay. I thought that's a nice place to end, but I'm happy to crack on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, <laughs> yeah, that occurs. Uh, there the was at Iris. The moment, I'd imagine. Freya. What would you yeah. like to do? What's, is this thing, Bob, still posing a threat? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's All right. found you and it's, it's coming down to it. Because we haven't met up with um, Freya yet. If I can redo my weapon choice, having read, I wanted actually light weapons, so if they could be scimitars instead of rapiers, <gasps> so the rapiers then I can dual wield. I rapier. am okay. Oh, I need to be light as well as... Oh, you want a dual wield? Yeah. I am okay with you having scimitars? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's no reason why not. It was a ship full of weapons. You can find something approximating in there. It's cool. I'm just going to spin around, draw both of my cool new swords that I love, and hack. 
at the thingy bobby. Uh, that's so that's going to be at least a twenty because you we, oh, did you not roll that? So no, I didn't roll. All right, okay, yeah, roll. So you get one so attack. One of them gets all my bonuses, right? So this. Um, you also, I hate to say this, but it's true. Have uh, that sneak attack because, because you're alone <laughs> against this creature, so you get sneak yeah, attack against yeah. it because that's what the squash don't buffers do. You, you don't oh. need the advantage. Yeah, uh, are you are you, 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 you have sneak attack on all your attacks. It's absurd. Uh, no, so I got. Uh, oh, wait, is it uh, 20 no, no, okay, right. So she rolled the minute. Twenty-one to hit with my first weapon. It's three six damage. Twenty. Twenty-three. You hit. It's hard to hit. It's not that hard. Nine damage. Okay. You roll two d six sneak attack. Yeah. Cool. And your dexterity. You get you get sneak attack once per turn. Okay. So so you roll one d six for the weapon. Yeah. Not two d six sneak so attack. Do it plus on three because you're your dexterity. Oh, plus three as well. Uh, so 12. Sorry. Ten. Twelve. Uh, you said nine. If it's okay, it's taking twelve points of damage. Twelve. And my second swing, I don't add my other stuff to, so I just get ten. To hit yep. with my second sword, yep. is that a hit? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, ten is not a hit, though. Okay. Uh, you don't have proficiency with stuff. You have proficiency if you don't have any. Uh, oh, okay, twelve no. then. I, I don't know how to... You do. don't add your dex damage on an offhand weapon. But you add to hit. Yeah. Oh, so that oh. was a fifteen still. Yeah, fifteen. You still have to hit, you just don't add to damage. Yeah. Mm. That's a fifteen, is it? Uh, another five. Sweet, okay. Oh, much. You just do nineteen damage. Should Seventeen. 17. Twelve, yeah, you can dance. <laughs> you can dance. It's okay. Numbers, numbers going up. On right. Okay. Uh, yes, that was you. You did seventeen damage to it, and it's going to have a go at you. So it. Um, no, it is not. Actually, it is going to provoke attack of opportunity from you on its turn, which disgustingly you get sneak attack for. Uh, you hit, you hit, you hit. Roll every d6 so in a mile radius. Roll 3d6 and add 3 to it. 4, 10. Don't kill it. 11. 11. Okay. Yeah, that's a hit. Okay, so it swoops in, it grabs the elf, mm -hmm. and it starts flapping and dragging away. And as it does, you hoik your scimitar and <laughs> and it slices this thing in half and it falls into two stone blocks, which are immobile once more and fall onto the floor. That is the end of initiative. We are out of combat. Amazing. I'm going to <laughs> out of combat. I'm going to run round with my weapon raised and I'm going to uh, like brandish my stick at uh, this strange pirate me. lady. It's me, Lucy Freya. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's me. Me. Yep. Druid. No, I am the druid. Yes. No, I am, no, the I the I am Freya. Is that not true? Uh, no, well, I, I think know, my uh, pirate is passed on. That's good. Uh, do you want me to roll for single? Please? What the hell are you wearing? Oh, I just, you know, I had a bit of a successful trip. Wait a second. How have you been? Wait a second. Wait, wait one second. I'm going to hit you with my stick. What? Okay, you're real. <laughs> <laughs> We've just been dealing with a wizard. You could have been a vision, and that was a really bad vision. Like... <laughs> I look suave. You, you do you look, look suave, nice. you just don't look like you. Are you okay? I am very good. What, where have you been? What have you, there's Please too much make to me say. <laughs> oh my god, fine. they're on fire! <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> Still too um, I'm coming down to deal with these guys. Okay. Uh, I'm going to create water. To put the fire out? To put the fire out. Uh, yep. Yep. Uh, and so I am... one spell, but that's fine. Uh, no, uh, you can drip craft fire out, can't you? No, no, I'm creating oh, water create, as a spell. Oh, water it as is a spell. spell. Yeah, yeah. I'm creating water as a spell. Fine. Rain! Rain falls on the top of this hill. Shh, it um, does, and it slicks the black obelisk in a dark, wet stone. Can you deal with York? Uh, yes, from here. Yeah. I'm going it. to feed Tyndall a healing potion, so he has now six points of... Uh, right, the, you're fully healed. He's fully healed. And uh, I will uh, use a sorcery point to use um, distance spell. Yeah, distance spell on spell of dying on York. Oh, that's so good. Is that thirty foot? Thirty foot. That's so good. Yeah, good. That's amazing. One sorcery point to go. You're not dying. Outstandingly good. Wicked. 
Um, yeah, you you stabilize and your fire goes out. Please focus on the people who are on fire before I have Hey, let's have a go. I was making these guys roll death saving through. Yes. <laughs> Tindall was a death save away from death. I, I had to try really hard not to say anything. I was really trying. Please and he would down. have died. <laughs> but he didn't. No, that's true. Yeah, okay. I suppose reunions are more important. <laughs> yes. Uh, mm. But yes, um, you're, you are brought around, and so is Lord Tyndall. Both of you getting up. <sighs> I see what you mean, says Lord Tyndall. <laughs> In fairness, my lord, that is a new one for me as well. Ow. Um, Look who's oh, my here. fucking beard. Oh, <laughs> oh no. That person is very unpleasant. Is this person now dead? I want to go and check on the fallen elf, not sure. touching her. Is she dead? Uh, oh, shit. Greetings, my loyal subject. Is she dead? I've my loyal subject. The day is the reason that Iris is not doing as yeah. much. Yeah, is. That's fine. Dog. There we go. Excellent, my lady. Very good to see you. I need to roll. And you. How have you been? Uh, um, she... Is dead. She is dead. She is dead. That's really irritating. Yeah. I rolled her some death saves. <sighs> she it's failed three fire. before she passed three. Well, that was utterly bizarre. How's she doing? She's gone. What? She's gone. Oh, fuck. I don't. I mean, what did you do? I tried to put her to sleep. We did. Well, you managed <laughs> that. Uh, so what? What's happening here? What's that been? Who is this? Lord Tyndall, your betrothed. Lord Tyndall, <laughs> your betrothed. Lord Tyndall, my love. Lord... <laughs> and get this, Sir Darius is unfortunately missing. Lord Tyndall picks himself up um, as best he's able. He does not look like you remember him looking. He looks like he's been traipsing through the woods for two days uh, and he's bruised and singed. And His a, beard is not groomed. His beard is un, a bit unkempt. Uh, and he... <clears throat> but at the same time, you don't look like he remembers either. <laughs> I am my pirate. Yeah, you look like a badass sexy pirate. Mm, he looks like a bit like a wild man in the woods. So... <clears throat> My lady, ah, he picks himself up. He's on a hit point. So I oh, know you've hit him. No, no, he's, no, he's, 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 he's on four. Yeah. He's on four. Six hit points. Yeah, my lady, your foot's on. And he comes over and uh, he says, "I, hello, I, I, I should be okay. no. I see you are enjoying your first trip into the wild. <laughs> <laughs> I have an apology to make to you. I am so very, very sorry that I jeopardised your safety." And your skillfully executed ruse by, <laughs> by by heading north to find you. <laughs> that is okay. All is forgiven. You uh, are gracious. Yes, welcome. It is it is good to see you again. And I'm glad Darius is not here. Yes, I echo both of those sentiments. It is genuinely lovely to see you again. I must ask what your future plans are. <laughs> well, we have an unofficial assignment from the standing leader of Merrick to simply scout the north and do good wherever we can. If there's any <laughs> armies, maybe we should go to home and, you know, tell them they're coming and stuff like that. But by and large, we just need to avoid being involved in any arranged marriages. Yes. I'm just going to say, my lady, you're not doing very well at that at the moment. <laughs> I see. But that is that is understandable. I see. Oh, he looks so <laughs> nice. Oh, 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 no. oh, no. Oh, no. Sensible. Our love will bloom in time, but we should not wed before we know each other properly. Hmm. Uh, Iris, what was 
that. Iris is, is actually crying now. She's crumpled in. No one's no. She's quietly crying next oh, to the corpse. Can give Iris a hug? Yeah. There's been other things going on. You haven't mm. noticed yet. Um, go to that place. Um, <laughs> I, uh, it's all right. It's all right. Um, it wasn't your fault. I'm going to kneel down next to the the body of the elf. Uh, I'm going to close her eyes. They will open. Uh, it was you or her. Uh, Why? I don't know. I don't know. You close the arms eyes. Mm-hmm. Um, what would you like to do? Yeah. You. You. It uh, starts to rain. <laughs> Just it's, a little bit. It's been raining. <laughs> it's been raining. Yeah, well, no, no, you, 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 con- you conjured a small amount of rain and that dried up, and then there's the gentle, just pitter patter of rain on stone, and it starts to gently rain uh, on the hill. And Iris, yeah, you are curled up against the against the stone. Um, okay. Crying a little bit. We need to find some shelter. We need to get up this hill just in case this escalates into something involving lightning. Um, we should head down the hill back into the. Uh, I, I am agree. going to. Freya, you came from that direction. Is there anywhere we can stay and rest? Uh, there is a small uh, settlement, uh, a, a day's walk away. Better but the, the woods between here and there are relatively quiet. We could just stop. I'm just going in the opposite direction that we need to be. Let's get off this hill. Uh, I am going to take off my cloak. I am going to wrap the elf's body in it. I am going to swing the elf's body over my shoulder. Let's get going. All right. Neve, I'm going to make sure she's as mobile functioning as she can be, and then I'll get her with the elf's where we need to go. Right? Are you injured? No. Well, a bit. I've got all my little last legs. <laughs> um, yeah, who needs healing? Maybe Lane. If you do um, <laughs> so you just cast your wings and tell not to <laughs> uh, <laughs> Who needs healing? Yeah, yeah, she's like, get the strong. Irish does. She's very singed. Your wounds. Mm. Um, you get 1d8 plus 3. <laughs> Oh, you get four points. It's better than nothing. Five plus. Um, four I am plus done with spells six, until six, I have a rest. Yorg is Yorg is favourite yeah, right side of his body. And he's limping a so most of the party is limping and slightly broken and the worst for whatever the hell just happened on that hill. As you make your way down the other side. Uh, where are you headed? Which direction? Uh, towards the well source. Towards the well source. You make your way somebody can give me a really startling really good reason why we take a day out of our lives to go back to somewhere with a bed. I'd say we just keep going. Mm-hmm. And you press on until you get into the forests. And that, I think, is when we are going to call this That's session. Good. Thank All you very right. much, guys. Bravo, bravo, bravo. All right, thank you very much, chat. This is the end of our pre-recorded sessions. We will be back next Thursday at 8. Please don't go anywhere. We hope you've enjoyed it, because we certainly have. So till next time, keep rolling them dice.